Hello and welcome to Cliff Williams, Independent Optician in White's Causeway, Kirkcaldy, Scotland. Today I'm with Scott Curry, a dispensing optician from Carol's Ice UK. Uh, we're delighted to announce that we have installed the Carol's Ice Visufit 1000. This is the latest digital centration machine for setting your spectacles up. And it's the first working example in the UK. We're very proud to have this at your disposal to pop in. It gathers 45 million points of data in one quick capture without a frame clip, as you'll see later on. Yep, and the reason we can do that without the frame clip is because we now have nine integrated cameras around the single camera to capture a th full 3D image 180 degrees. Okay. Without the cal calibration clip has made quite a difference to the patients that have just gone on this in the first week of use. The great thing about it, it goes up and down on a column. We can capture people as tall as me, about six foot five. Yeah, but we can also do disabled access as well from a wheelchair. You can see in this resting position, it comes down a fair wee bit. So we're well, going to show you now how this equipment integrates into everything else that we have from Carol's Ice, as we feel you're qu we're quite unique with the level of equipment that we have available for you for your eye examination. Traditionally, we would measure using a felt tip pen, cover one eye, put a dot on the lens, and then we would dot the other eye. This is how we were trained before we had digital centration. Once we have the marks on the glasses, we would put them on a display like this, and we would check to make sure we can get reading area in the correct position. We could then check one of the measurements, which would be the wrap angle, the curvature on the face. With the traditional eye terminal too, there would be a frame clamp, you would walk up to the machine and we would take a shot from the side as well, as one from straight on. With the Visufit 1000, it's blue first of all, you walk up to it, and it will be blue, you'll see the red cross just there in the bottom right. It rises up to suit your own personal height, then you walk forward, stop when it changes white, if you go too close it goes red, we take your capture, one shot does it all. We can check the side angle, make sure the cornea is visible, yellow line across the top for alignment, put some markers around the rim of the frame, we can check the pupil, we can lighten it as well to make a better view. That gives us the very centre of the pupil which is more accurate than a felt tip pen. We can put a marker over the front of the eye and we do that on both sides. We can then tell at the angle of the frame and towards your cheek, which is one of the variables that you have when we're dispensing spectacles. It can be more tipped or less tipped in towards the face. If you've stood with your head up, we can adjust that in the process. Then we have the information. We pick the lens type that we want. We can alter the reading area there as well. And that's ready to go to the software. Using the eye profiler, the only one in Scotland, we can then shine light into your eye and we can work out the prescription for your spectacles before we start, across the whole area of the pupil, not just a small central area. This can be of assistance, it allows us to make spectacle lenses to a far finer tolerance, 0 0.01 diopters rather than 0.25. It can help for driving at night and various situations with bigger pupils, you can have more distortion. So if we can assess you for it, it will improve the standard of vision available. The information from the eye profiler can then link to our foropter head that you see getting positioned in front of Scott. We can bring in the information from the eye profiler and then we can revise the prescription doing a refraction. This changes the lenses automatically and we have a variety of test types that we can use to test how low you can go. We also have some custom test types as well using the Zeiss Visu screen. We use the VisuCam by Zeiss to take a retinal picture very quick and efficient way of mapping any change using traditional digital imaging. We have more advanced imaging in the form of OCT by Zeiss. It takes a 3D picture of the back of the eye and it allows us to monitor you for any macula changes, any early signs of glaucoma 
and any changes to things like ganglion cell layers which can affect your visual function as we're seeing here on this chart. We do a visual field test as well just to make sure things are okay across your field of vision. We can bring the prescription into the software from Carol Zeiss. We can assess the prescription from the eye profiler and we can compare it to the traditional method and we can then decide whether you are suitable for eye scription. Once we have this information, we can then show some custom lenses. In this case, Scott's decided he would like to have some sunglasses. So we can show the various colours of lenses available from self-tinting to nice uh, pink coloured lenses or a nice fetching green and we can display how these look before we order. We can then add the information to the Visu store in Allen in Germany. And once we access the Visu store in Germany, we can then load up additional information. We can confirm the lens type that is being used, and this time it's individual, a bespoke lens for everyone. We can then also type your initials into the order pad, which can be burnt discreetly into the lens to show they're bespoke. We trace the frame using a 3D tracer. This allows the software to know exactly the size of spectacle lens to make, and we can use this in a few seconds to show how thin the lenses can be. Once we bring this information in, we can then ask it to work out how thin the lens will be in this frame and we can show it in 3D and we can turn the lens to various angles to show how it will look. We can also add in a second lens to find out if there will be any benefit in using a thinner, lighter material. In some prescriptions this can be advantageous, in others there's no extra benefit to that. So in the lens calculation we're now going to click 3D at the top and we can see the two lens materials side by on, on top of each other. We can spin these round and look at them from all angles.